الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد فقد قال تبارك وتعالى كما ورد في سورة فصلت بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ولا تستوي الحسنة ولا السيئة ادفع بالتي هي أحسن فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم وقال جل وعلا كما ورد في سورة آل عمران كنتم خير أمة أخرجت للناس تأمرون بالمعروف وتنهون عن المنكر وتؤمنون بالله إلى آخر الآية I was invited to offer a prayer at the Take on Hate event last night at the University of Michigan, Dearborn. A host of politicians, including U.S. Congress people, Lieutenant Governor of Michigan, clergy and community leaders were joined by activists and members of the community to address the subject of hate. The event focused on all forms of hate against all people, Muslims and non-Muslims, Muslims, Jews, Blacks, Latinos, etc. Hate is still happening and it is still wrong. It is happening at a larger scale, not only local, but global. White supremacy movements around the globe in Europe and in North America are alive and kicking, and now Hindu supremacy is more prevalent today than ever. The white supremacy groups are worried that Muslims and non-white immigrants replace the white race. Instead of embracing diversity and inclusion, they promote uniformity and exclusion, which is against the religious teachings of all Abrahamic faiths. The Torah teaches, love the stranger. The Bible, the New Testament teaches, love thy neighbor. And the Quranic injunction, the Quran teaches, Ya ayyuhal nas, wa inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha, wa ja'alnakum shu'uban wa qaba'ila lita'arafu, inna akramakum indallahi atqakum. O mankind, we created you from a male and a female, Adam, and Hawa, and we made you purposely into nations and tribes, people of different races. What for? Lita'arafu, so you may know one another. We come from different backgrounds the Arabs, non Arabs, the whites, the blacks, the Asians, Caucasians, all sorts of people. What for? God said, Lita'arafu, so you may know one another, so you may learn about each other, so you may appreciate the diversity of God's creation. He could have made us all one type of people, one color, one race, but he didn't. There's a purpose behind that. And God informed us. He said, Lita'arafu, so you may know one another. Not that you may despise and kill each other. Look at the recent mass shootings. Earlier in the month, this month, August, 22 people were killed in a shooting at Walmart in El Paso, Texas. The very next day, nine victims shot dead in Dayton, Ohio. Since the beginning of this year, 2019, eight mass shootings took place in the U.S., resulting in the deaths of 
62 people and many wounded. And we know what happened in New Zealand not long ago. We also know what is happening in Kashmir as we speak, in Yemen, in Syria, Libya, and in many parts of the world. The white nationalists, the Hindu nationalists, and the Arab nationalists, I might add to the list, are groups driven by the notion of superiority over others. They foster hate and promote division. Hate is the fuel that keeps the flames of racism burning. And racism is prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism directed against someone of a different race based on the belief that one's race is superior. It is true that we are of different races, nations, and tribes, whites, blacks, and every color in between. But we inevitably, unavoidably, certainly belong to one race called the human race. Regardless of who we are, where we came from, and what color is our skin in the eyes of Allah, we are all equal. In the eyes of Allah, we are all equal. We are created to worship and submit to the one God, Allah Almighty. Everyone is to be treated equally regardless of their attributes. Deeming someone inferior due to race is a direct violation of social justice. Racism against any person or a group of people is a violation of human rights. Racism, prejudice, and discrimination are all fruits of the same tree of hate. Seemingly, we have a tendency to counter hate through hate. That's wrong. Allah teaches exactly the opposite. He informs, Evil and good can never be equal. Repel evil with that which is good. Because hate begets hate, evil begets evil. And to fight evil, you must counter that with good, with that which is better. And if you do this, what happens? Allah explains. It is possible that by countering hate through love, by countering evil with that which is better, it is possible that those whom have enmity with you become your best friend. The hate mongering and the fear that is in the minds and hearts of those who harbor hate is based on ignorance, is based on ignorance. So when you counter that with that which is better, they will come to learn and they will come to understand and they will know that we are all one people, that we all belong to one God, and that we are all required to worship the one and only one God, Allah Almighty. So repel evil with that which is good. وَمَا يُلَقَّاهَا إِلَّا الَّذِينَ صَبَرُوا وَمَا يُلَقَّاهَا إِلَّا ذُو حَظٍ عَظِيمٍ But only those who exercise patience, perseverance, and are steadfast, it is they who will prevail in the end. It is they who have the good fortune. Hate is a learned behavior. It passes on from generation 
to generation. No one is born with this trait, hate. No one is born with hate. It is indeed a learned behavior. We don't hate people. We shouldn't hate people. They are human souls created by God Almighty. You may hate their evil actions. You may detest their immoral behaviors and unethical practices. Allah taught us how to deal with such abhorred, disliked, despised, and hated evil actions. According to the Quran, all these hated, abhorred, disliked, evil actions are called munkar. Munkar. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, according to the Quran, explained to us our position as Muslims, as leaders of nations. Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnas ta'muruna bil ma'rufi wa tanhawna anil munkari wa tu'minuna billah. You are the best of peoples. No more nations to come after the nation of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You were created to serve the people, to ordain that which is good and to forbid the munkar, the evil. Another ayah from Surah Ali Imran, the same surah, explains, وَلْتَكُمْ مِنْكُمْ أُمَّةٌ يَدْعُونَ إِلَى الْخَيْرِ وَيَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ let from among you, O Muslims, rise a group, a group of people who are conscious about their duties, who would call people to that which is good, ordain that which is right and forbid the wrong, and you will be among those who will prosper in the hereafter. This is our duty. Unfortunately, you find hate-mongering among ourselves, Muslims, on the basis of race again. Bangladeshis against Pakistanis, Pakistanis against Bangladeshis, Arabs against non-Arabs, non-Arab Muslims against Arabs, and so on and so forth. This is absolutely ridiculous. Where is the unity? This is our collective mission. How are we? to uphold our mission, God-given mission. We are on a mission. How are we going to uphold and perform this mission when we are divided among ourselves? What to speak of others attacking us, attacking other people, other faiths, when we are responsible for everybody. You are the best people produced to all people, everyone. It is our duty. How are we to uphold this if we are not united to fulfill this collective obligation? It requires unity. Come together, O Muslims. Don't divide among yourselves for whatever reason because you have a higher cause, you have a higher mission. But that unity cannot happen without piety. You must be conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, taqullaha haqqa tuqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimoon. O you who believe, have taqwa of Allah as is his due. When you become truly conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, truly conscious of your duties and obligations toward Him and toward the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you will put everything aside. You will come together with your fellow brother and sister, Muslim and Muslim, and say, what can we do to help ourselves against those hate-mongering people? And what can we do together to help other people? It requires piety, indeed. We must recognize 
that Satan, the devil, who is our arch enemy, hates us all, blacks and whites, and everyone who does not walk alongside with him. He vowed to divide us and cause bloodshed among, among the human race, and he is succeeding, is he not? He is absolutely succeeding. We have to give the devil his due. We must overcome this evil. To do this, we must first overcome and control the devil within ourselves. The devil that runs in our bloodstream, as the Prophet وسلم, described to us, Inna shaytana yajri min al-insani majra dam Shaytan permeates the whole entire body of the human being. We have these inner devilish voices that entices us to commit evil and hate people and do things that are disliked by our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once we have a grip on our shaitan, our own shaitan, we can then come together to fight the big Satan, big shaitan. The Prophet and the companions defeated Iblis, and we can too. But that requires strong will and determination. We have to go back to basics. We have to go back to the pure teachings of the Quran and the pure guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hate is evil and evil begets evil. Love is good and good always begets good. We must come together and work together to overcome that evil. And there are many groups out there, people of conscience, who are working with other people of conscience and other groups to overcome that evil hate. Unfortunately, our establishment is promoting hate. But we can overcome that, bi'ithnillah ta'ala, if we show solidarity, if we come together and serve as we are obligated to serve, as we are called on by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to serve. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enables us to overcome hate and intolerance, to help us learn forgiveness, kindness, and acceptance. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps us turn toward each other with mercy, compassion, and love, not with cruelty and hate. We ask you, O oh Allah, to turn the hearts of those who feel superior to others from wickedness to goodness, from harshness to gentleness and kindness, from injustice to justice, and from hatred to love. We call on you, O oh Allah, to help us love our neighbors and all people as we love ourselves. And finally, we ask you to lead us to the path of righteousness, truth, and justice. Allahumma ameen. Inna Allahumma la ikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayuhal ladhina amun sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم أنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم أنك حميد مجيد اللهم عنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم عنا على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اللهم اجعلنا من عبادك الصالحين وابعد عنا الظالمين والكافرين اللهم ألف بين قلوبنا واجمع ذات بيننا اللهم ثبت أقدامنا وانصرنا على عدوك وعدونا اللهم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا 
ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين